Hello, hello, and welcome back to Spirit Fair. For anyone who watched the last episode, you would know it was very sad for me.、Uh, but I think I feel better now. I had a day to relax, and I'm again playing at night after work, which I really shouldn't be <laughs> because I am tired. But you know what? It's fine. I don't need a lot of energy to play this because it's a quiet playthrough anyway. So we are going to soldier on. Good morning, Uncle. Oh, I'm glad you're in a good mood. I really need a hug, Uncle. Please. Ah,、oh, thank you. Yes, it was very great. And here is your. Well, I think I already gave you your favorite meal. So here, have some grilled fish. Okay. All right, get out of here. Let me give my cat some hugums. Nice. All right. So what we're gonna do today? Is we are going to、uh, hello ding a ding ding everybody come out please、uh, I've got a lot I am going to see wait a minute oh hi Francis I didn't come to you but you came to me let's see what's what do you have an interesting errand for me is this one like a recurring one all the time I don't know Francis this is not the time okay I've got other things to do. So what I'm doing now is I am heading to get the bright jelly. After that, then we're gonna head back on down to Iwashima Mashibujuju, whatever the place was called that I just can't remember now. But we're gonna head down there so that we can see what's going on with Giovanni. Also, in the meantime, oh, what? What do you want?、Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. You're so pretty, Munchkin. You remind me so much of how I used to be when I was younger.、Mm -hmm. I used to wear a red ribbon in my hair, just like in the magazines. The boys always noticed me, you know. I could have had Tony, the barber's son. He was quite rich and had a red convertible. Or even Al, the ski champion. Oh, Al, he had the nicest butt.、Mm -hmm. But Giovanni? Oh, Giovanni.、Mm -hmm. Whatever I did, whatever happened, he always made me smile. His eyes looked like shooting stars. His hair smelled like morning dew. But enough of this. Daydreaming won't get us nowhere. Let's do something productive. Aren't your crops in need of water?、Uh, yeah, I just watered them. Don't worry about me. Now, are you in need of a hug? Cause it is morning. Hugums for Astrid. Ah. A hug brightens my day, does it? Oh, then why did you get sad? I don't know what your favorite food is yet. I'll just give you a little bit of everything. Do you like old-fashioned things? Thank you, Munchkin. Okay, I don't know. Oh, good. We have arrived at at the jelly. So let's collect the jelly and then. What? 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 Oh, you now.、Uh, start the event. Yes. Okay. That's sad. They're like now that. Well, anyway. Um, but yeah, after this, I do have the resources to build Astra's home, so I will do that, and I will not be demolishing Gwen's. So no one even think about it. Oh, now I can glide, so I can get even more of these. Yes, give me the green. That's what I need. I need the bright jelly. It's coming. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I jump down? To get that one, want to get these? Come on! Yeah, this is actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad if I miss them. <laughs> nice. Now that that's done, let's head on. Oh, I'm going this way anyway. So you know what? Let's head back to.、Uh, Olga and pick up my goodies. While we're at it, also I've got mail. Oh, I got my food delivery! Yes. Oh man, open. All right. Now, as I said in previous episodes, sometimes I can't read this text because it's very small for me. Madison from Fidorama, back for another week with a delicacy from the ocean, the perfect harmony between taste and flavor. Dive deep into our new lobster rolls, a perfect combination of flour and lobster. Okay, so that's how you make lobster rolls. Cool. All right, I got corn flour this time. Well, in the meantime, let's go build Astrid's thing. Bum 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 bum. Yep bum bum. 
Uh, Astrid's bungalow, because it just needed slate and linen fabric, which I have a hella ton of. <laughs> so let's build this. Ooh, boy, you take up a lot of room. Um, let me squeeze you right down. Ah, perfect fit. Can I go down one? Yes. Boom. That's just for you, doll. Hello, aw. I'm gonna go in there, and I'm gonna also play some music to help this stuff grow. Because I haven't done that in a while. I haven't played to my plants. Oh, also, now that I have a spirit flower, I am going to see if I can go ahead and upgrade uh, my ship so that I can travel to new places. Ah, right. I have something for you. What do you have? Here, Stella. I've baked something for the crew. I'll let you distribute it. Oh, you made me some more apple pie and fisherman's pie. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Yo, oh, let me feed this sheep because he's looking like he's going to try to go in there and eat something. You better eat that rice and not look at my crops. All right, down we go. Bop, 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 bop. Hello, Olga. My sisters and I have been traveling the sea for ages. People of the ocean are in dire need of financial help. Did you know people have no savings? If you side with us, you're sure to earn more than your imagination can muster. We play the market of logs and ore. In no time, your investment will be doubled, even tripled. Just jump on my back. Invest in our sailing enterprise. Okay, well, I'm going to jump on your back to get my stuff that I put here. Thanks. Da -da 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 -da. Nice. Oh, boy. Oh, I get to put something different there. Cool. Well, I think I might still go with quartz and limestone. Because I haven't gotten much of them elsewhere. Ah, uh, back. Great. Yes, Olga? Are you all done there? Yes. All right. I'll see you later, then. Relax, cat. Oh, Cat, are you sad? Have you you not gotten Huggums today? There you go. Bye, Olga. And don't listen to what Astrid says. Your eyes are not scary at all. Hi, Astrid. You don't you don't have anything to say? Do you want to hug? You feel that would be inappropriate? My goodness, why? Like I think I asked in one of the other episodes what animal you would want to see next, and I said a rabbit just because I like their hopping and it would be cute. But a wolf would probably have been my favorite because they're like my favorite animal, so. Oh yes, I forgot I built you a house. Stella, you've got to be kidding me. This house is just fantastic. You know I love simple things. Simple things that make me feel good and warm inside. What can I say? I just don't like what is too complicated or luxurious. That's actually very much me. Mm -hmm. I'm very much a minimalist. I just don't... <sighs> That's who I am. I've always been like that, as far as I remember. When I was young, many of my friends were pretty rich and famous. You know, artists, philosophers, sports athletes. I've always attracted the finest people, what can I say? So you're Italian. <laughs> but it didn't mean a thing back then, and still doesn't up to this day. That's probably why I ended up marrying Giovanni. He was so simple, yet so elegant. So genuine, but also fun and unpretentious. And he didn't have a dime to his name. Still doesn't, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got to admit, I think I miss him. I know I shouldn't. I know he's worthless riffraff. Mm -hmm. I know he probably doesn't give a shit about me now. But I just can't forget about him. Hey, Munchkin, do you think you could check the mail? Maybe Olga has written us about him, as she said she would. Mm -hmm. I'd be so grateful if you did. Thanks a lot, Stella. I won't forget this. I already looked, okay? But let's look at your house. Oh, that's very cute. I want to see how you sleep. I'll sit right here in the chair. <sighs> oh. Okay. Um, yeah, there's no mail. All right, so let's go to sleep. Then we'll navigate to the next place. And I'll make the nebula fabric while we do it. 
That's how you know when you got it perfect is when like that little bead in the middle actually lights up. Which it did the first time. Come on. All right, nebula thread. And now I can make of the nebula fiber. Hey Francis, holy shit. <laughs> Francis, you're speeding on by. There you go, just like that. All the nebula fabric I could ever want. Hi Francis, I just wanna sell you some things, okay? That's all I, I need to do. Um, I'll buy one odd seed. And yeah, maybe fine, since I'm here. Uh, but I really just wanna sell stuff. Um, sell that, sell that, and sell that. Bye Francis! Yes, I know you want fried chicken, but as I've already explained to you, Uncle, I don't have any chickens, but you can have a hug. There you go. Oh. And here's some food for you. I'll give you your favorite, Unc. You can have your chops. Aww. <laughs> I never get tired of that. Ah, there we go. Just in time. Out. Whoop. Yacha. Swoop. Yacha. All right. Let's go, cat. We've got an upgrade to do. Hello. Look at your hair. Looks like someone's been at the Baba shop. <laughs> oh, I love your puns. Yeah, because the sheep on my boat. I get it. I get it. But listen, I'm here for an upgrade. Icebreaker. Oh my god, so good. Oh, I can get this one too! Oh, snap! I go 20% faster. What's the next one I need? The Rock Destroyer. Aluminum, marble, fire glow, and two spirit flowers. Ooh, goodness gracious. Then I need silica. Yeah, so I can't do anything else. Thank you so much. I love you. Goodbye. Also, let's upgrade the foundry now, which I guess I can do. Unless um, I just accidentally use what I was going to use to do that. No, I did not. Upgrade, please. Azum. So let's head on then. Now that we've upgraded and become wonderful, we are going to head on to uh, where we think her man is. Listen, not now, Olga. We've got important business. He said that he might be there in the Iwashima countryside. Oh, you know what? There's a bus stop right there. Yes? What's up, Alice? How's the next meal coming along? Do you need a help? Oh, no. Well, I'm sorry. You must have been hungry. Uh, you like old-fashioned stuff, so let's find an old-fashioned, old-fashioned... Shellfish stew? Oh, this is absolutely delicious. There was nothing more reassuring than a good old-fashioned dish like this. I love it. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, you know, what? what is your actual favorite food, though? I still haven't found it. Because she likes old-fashioned and dessert. But I haven't... I don't know. Do you need a hug? Oh, very nice. Thank you. I haven't just found out, like, what her actual favorite is. I swear. I see you trying to go up, sheep. Don't you do it. Hello, Alex. Look at Uncle up there jamming out. All right. I need to go to this bus stop right here. Boosh. Take me away. Thank you kindly. An empty bottle. Great. That's that's great. One more for the road. What is it? It's a herring. Ah, all right. Time to go. Timber Lake. 
shoe. Ah. All right, Munchkin. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni could have been around. Knowing him as I do, I have my doubts. He wouldn't linger in a place like this, but who knows? Maybe if you ask around, we might find a clue or two? I'll leave you to it. I don't want to go too far. The humidity here is killing me. Go, go. I trust you'll find interesting stuff. I will. Hi. I don't remember his name. That knight didn't call for names, if you know what I mean. I do remember his legs, though. Ooh, brother. Oh, wait. He has a wife? He didn't say anything about it. He did say that he was going to Furugawa. Well, if you ever meet up with him, tell him... Tell him that Eileen misses him. I'm not going to tell him that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're just going to keep going. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. Yes. All right. To Furugawa it is. And hoping Astrid heard nothing that was just discussed. <laughs> Choo. Yep. Bummer. He was here, you say? And he met someone? No. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I wasn't going to tell you. Okay, maybe I do. But just a tiny bit. Only where he went. Furugawa, you say? I think I know where that is. I've heard it's a lovely place. Uh, at least that's what the brochure says. Okay, yeah. Well, we're going to go. Make you travel without leaving your seat. All right, Munchkin, let's check it out. All right, let's go. I'll tell you, I do like that it seems like there are multiple ways to have unlocked, like, different locations. Like, if somehow I didn't go to Furugawa and all these places before, I'm guessing I would have ended up going there now, you know? I don't think I'm going to come up with any new combinations, but that's just me. Look at Uncle in there being all cute. All right. So we're going to sleep so we can navigate. And then that will be that. All right. I also wonder when I'm going to be able to catch salmon because they were very tricky. I want hugums. Oh my god. I did not even know you did this. Hey, we made it. Who's cutting wood? Oh, you are. How's it going, Unc? He looks so happy when he cuts his wood. Why are you still asleep, huh? Astrid. It's wakey wakey time. That's fine. You know what? You're new here. I'm not going to press you. You get up when you feel darn good and ready to get up. Let's see how much I can get now. Five. So I'm guessing it's just going to give me more yield. Hopefully it is actually like doubled. Mm -hmm. All right, we're here. Let's go down. Okay, yeah, well, I didn't need you to tell me that. It was gonna go anyway. Oh. No, thank you. I don't want to buy your magazine subscription or whatever you're selling. Oh. Hi there. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm, that's funny. Is it his cologne that I smell? The peculiar mix of musk and nonchalance. He must have been here recently. Quick, Munchkin, let's ask him around. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'll find your man. Even if he doesn't want to be found. Hi, do you know of a sexy-legged man named Giovanni? That name, don't say that name. He almost broke up my marriage. Came here a month ago. Big man. Thinking he's the boss. Good thing my wife came to her senses. He apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance. Ah, oh, well. Lucky you. Welcome to the world now for a god. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You know what? You want to do a tour? Sure. Let's do it. Let's start right away. A powerful symbol, erected to keep evil spirits away and bless this island for future generations. You can sometimes see islanders stop by this tree in the middle of their journey home. Maybe to remind themselves of a lost brother or their sick child past lovers? Legend does say that they have heard it talk sometimes. Another piece of this island's rich culture. I personally have never experienced loss. Some say I always think of my personal problems, never thinking of others. Well, no matter. As long as I can carry on doing these tours. Wait a minute, I have a... Uh, now I'm curious... Can I 
meditate at anything that has the satchels on it or only the rocks? I don't know. Hey. What? The goats. The thin air. My boy. Yeah, okay. I found your boy, by the way. Uh, sir. Sir, I'm sorry. I just... Okay. <laughs> Since this is a vibrant city, we have a Raccoon Inc. location, considered by most to be the most finest source of materials and wares. It's also coincidentally the only merchant business in town. Founded by Theodore Raccoon, these shops are a staple of a thriving economy. A fun little fact, anyone who joins Raccoon Inc. must legally change their name to Theodore. Ah, so it's like a nurse thing in, uh, whatchamacallit. I don't even remember her name. Is it Nurse Joy from Pokemon? Truly a sign of devotion. I myself do not shop at this particular establishment. I make my own clothes and furniture. This isn't particularly noteworthy, but it is a small tidbit in your tour guide life. Okay. Hi. Got anything interesting? Oh. I could take some more pork. Alright. He gets so happy when I spend. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. This shrine was built using only the finest metals. From the ashes of the past guardian tower, these shrines tell the story of our past. And that story is... Give me a second. I'm not sure, actually. Which is why it's so important. In my forgetfulness, I remember the purpose of this shrine. The moral being, of course, always remember your heritage. A powerful thought. Let's move on. Okay. Oh, that was it? This concludes our tour. Okay. Uh, gratuity is expected if you enjoy the tour. Yeah, 50, sure. Here you go. I knew you had an educational spirit. Thank you for believing in my teaching aptitudes. Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. You just disappeared. Yes. So sorry, Sarah. Oh, damn it. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear his stupid jokes and incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral cologne. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't... I... Let's go back to the boat, Munchkin. We will, because I'm going to end the episode. Shoop, yay, a boo! I tell you, talk about thirst, you know? Oh, letter. From Olga. Mm, well, we're not going to check it right now. Oh, you got planks for me? Sure. Hand them over. Thank you. Sheep, I see you going up. Do not. Okay? Don't. Don't even do not and never. Get my food because ABC always be cooking. So I don't actually know what I'm going to do in the next episode. Whoops, not there. I still have to travel to that place. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read the letter. And then I am going to see if I can find um, a new place where I can... Actually, let's before I end the episode, let's just look. Because now I can travel, I'm guessing, through this. Because this is ice, right? So you know what? We're going to set sail for the mines. And that's where we will pick up on the uh, next episode. So if you are looking forward to the next episode, then do subscribe to my channel. Then you know when it's going to come. And I'll be back very soon, very, very, very soon, with more of my new favorite game, Spiritfarer.